Yes. Can I ask Joanne another question? Yes. Uh, we would not be the first to do this, correct? Um, Pettis County. Pet Pettis County, Missouri, um, outlawed this countywide on February 22nd. February 22nd? February 22nd. Okay. And then they did it countywide. And they did it countywide. And do we know anything? Of, I mean, has there been any publicity on it? after they passed it it's oh there's been quite a bit of publicity it's mostly been on the western side of the state um their green county's been looking at it and trying to consider what to do um for some reason pettis county noticed a problem with it and uh and dealt with it early on kansas passed it um three four weeks ago and it was on the governor's desk last monday a week ago i, I understood may have been from Mark that the governor signed it. Uh, Missouri legislature has two bills before it, one in the House and one in the Senate, to make it a scheduled one drug um, with an emergency clause. Yeah, I think both of those are on the perfection calendar, which means they're available f for anybody to go to and, and debate. They're not in session this week. Um, but it's made it through the committee up there, uh, the committee process anyway. That's what I've seen. Okay. One, one more thing that you guys need to know, Paul, that if you get on the website, if you Google, Google K2, all it talks about is how potent it is and how good it is for in replace of marijuana. So that's what it's used for. It's used for smoking like marijuana. There's no, no two ways. I'm with you it. now, Joe. <laughs> okay. I'm with you now. An, another, um, I'm on a CNN um, website right now, and they say that it is um, manufactured in China and that it is banned in Britain, Germany, Poland, France, South Korea, and Russia, and that the U.S., they're encouraging the U.S. to be more proactive in banning this substance in the United States. That CNN is, CNN is pretty responsible so, site. Cheryl? May I ask a question of um, our council? Yes. Uh, uh, Joanne, uh, uh, when it comes to enforcement, excuse me, enforcement on something like this, because it's done a, a ban as a county ordinance, and a store was selling it in the midst of Wentzville, Missouri. Um, wh who will be? Will it be our sheriff's department that will approach the store and tell them you can no longer sell that here and you must take that off? Or do we call the Wentzville police and ask them? Or H how will the enforcement duties be done? the ordinance specifies it's the sheriff's authority to enforce it and our office's authority to um, do whatever legally he needs done so I mean as a matter of practice I mean you'd have to ask the sheriff if he's going to call the cities and ask them to make the courtesy call or if they're going to do it together or they're going to you know but I, I do but know that we've spoken about being prepared if you acted, whether it was today or whether it's in three weeks on the 29th when you next meet, to, that we'd be prepared to act. <coughs> okay. Can I ask another question? One more question. One more. Is, that, um, is there, and again, maybe sheriff's department and or other government? I mean, what is where is the stand? Where does it stand in terms of surrounding counties? Are they bringing up the same issues, or is this, you know, is this only going to transfer the problem across the river or across the boundary line? Are, are St. Charles, St. St. Louis County doing something? Are their sheriff's department involved? Are they no. doing something? Uh, it, their police department? I, I don't actually know that. I haven't spoken to Pat Reddington about what's going on over there. Okay. I can this certainly will probably do that. prompt it. Okay. Any that's, that's an important, Mr. Chairman. Yes. I mean, that is an important, important point. I mean, it, you know, to the extent that people are going to try this. We need to encourage everybody to do it or do it on the state level because, yeah, they can drive across the county line and right. say fireworks. Still be, in violation if they Still be in possession if they brought it back here. Okay. Are we ready, Council? So yes, sir. The vote? Yes, Mr. Chairman. All right. And just for clarification, Joanne, this is Joanne. This is the substitute emergency bill 3582. Correct. Okay. An emergency ordinance regulating the possession, sale, or offering for sale of products containing synthetic cannabinoids known or sold under product names such as K2, Genie, Descents, and Zohai for public health purposes throughout the county 
authorizing injunctive relief to be sought and setting forth a penalty clause. Councilmember Hibbler? Yes. Councilmember Brazel? Yes. Councilmember Matheny? Yes. Councilmember White? Yes. Councilmember Wynn? Yes. Councilmember Hollander? Yes. Councilmember Darty? Yes. Substitute, substitute Bill 3582 has passed. Now, do we have to have another reading on it? Mm -mm. No. no. Okay. Oh. Then substitute Bill 3582 yeah. as an emergency bill has passed. Very good. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. We will move on to bills, other bills for introduction, starting with Bill number 3571. Bill number 3571, requested by Steve Lauer, sponsored by Paul Wynn, an ordinance amending the zoning district map of the County of St. Charles, Missouri, by rezoning land from R1A FFFW Single Family Residential District with Floodway Fringe and Floodway Overlay Districts to C2 FFFW General Commercial District with Floodway Fringe and Floodway Overlay Districts as per application 7896. Any questions or comments on Bill 3571? Seeing none, we'll move to Bill number 3572. Bill number 3572, requested by Craig Tykowski, sponsored by Council as a whole, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to execute the Congestion Mitigation and Air Quality Program CMAQ Supplemental Agreement for Federal Project CMAQ 7305604 with the Missouri Highways and Transportation Commission for reimbursement of 80% of the cost of the St. Peter's Howell and Taley Roads intersection project up to the amount of $162,400 from programmed federal CMAQ funds and for 100% of costs under ARRA funds up to the amount of $160,817. Any questions on Bill 3572? Seeing none, we'll move on to Bill 3573. Bill number 3573 requested by Craig Tykowski, sponsored by Council as a whole, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to execute the Surface Transportation Program Urban Program Agreement for Federal Project STP 7302619 with the Missouri Department of Transportation for reimbursement of up to 80% of the costs of the project up to the amount of $680,000. Any questions or comments on Bill 3573? Seeing none, we move on to Bill 3574. Bill number 3574, requested by Craig Tykowski, sponsored by Council as a whole, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to execute the Surface Transportation Program Urban Program Agreement for Federal Project STP 7302620 with the Missouri Department of Transportation for certain asphalt overlay road improvement projects and which provides for reimbursement of up to the amount of $520,000 from programmed federal STP funds. Any questions or comments on Bill 3574? Seeing none, we'll, seeing none, we'll move forward to 3575. 